This is a space to share and discuss educational topics with guests who have a passion for teaching and an interest in learning. Hi, my name is Gina Gillin. Welcome to Coffee Talk by Sorter Prof. In this episode, we're going to talk about Agile Coach, learn about the role, what makes a good Agile Coach, and how to overcome challenges. Today, we have the pleasure of talking to Carla Krieger. She's a senior services delivery professional with vast experience as a global Agile Coach, co-host of the Agile World Portuguese show, and co-author of several books, including Business Agility Journey. Hi, Carla. Welcome to Coffee Talk by Sort of Prof. Hi, Gina. Thank you very much for the invitation to participate in this coffee talk about Agile Coach's role that is a profession that has been growing a lot, but not everyone knows exactly what an Agile Coach does. So it's my pleasure to be here with you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Carla, can you start by introducing yourself? Yes. Well, I'm Carla Krieger, as I said. <laughs> I'm Enterprise Agile Coach at Globus Hub Digital. I'm the A trainer, leader of several initiatives in the Jornada Colaborativa and Access Agile Communities, professor, and, and the Agile World Portuguese co host. Uh, I have a daughter that is Natalia, that <laughs> is nine years old. And uh, I can say that I'm enthusiastic of the teams value delivery and culture people everything that adds value in organization in our personal lives that's awesome i actually also have a girl but she's one year old <laughs> oh nice so cute <laughs> As you mentioned before, um, everyone talks about Agile Coach, but I don't think that a lot of people know what they actually are. So what's the role of an Agile Coach? But I would like to start with what an Agile Coach don't, doesn't do. <laughs> because people make a lot of mistake with, with mistakes with this role. So uh, the Agile coach does not prescribe solutions for the organization's problems. Agile coach is not just an expert in a frame or corporate uh, like Scrum. The Agile coach does not manage the Agile team. Uh, neither manage the project, program, or area. And the uh, Agile Coach, Team Agile Coach, or Enterprise Agile Coach are not just different names for the same role in the organization. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about this. But what the Agile Coach does? Uh, Agile Coaches help organization on the lean and Agile approach and uh, oversee uh, the development of Agile teams to ensure effective outcomes for the organization, optimizing the value realization flow. Uh, they are in charge for guiding teams and uh, are tasked with encouraging uh, workers and leadership to embrace the agile mindsets. And uh, agility, is, it's not just about doing agile, it's about being Agile. And that is a big difference between doing and being. And uh, when we talk about business agility, agility becomes much more than agile development teams, where agile codes can act in the three levels of the organization, where we have three uh, roles for the agile coach. Uh, one of them is Agile Team Coach, that is the person that is responsible for su supporting one or two te uh, Agile teams in continuous improvement under the most diverse aspects like tools, processes, skills, uh, improvements. We have the Agile Coach 
that is the person that supports the agile team coaches and leaders in environment with multiple teams uh, working collaboratively to deliver a product a solution to to add value in uh, in uh, in the organization in the delivers of the organization and we have the enterprise agile coach <laughs> that supports the agile coaches and the executives of this organization to work on change management, culture, value stream, portfolio, strategic OKRs, and all of these things will drive the tactical and operational efforts of the organization. So to define what is the role of the agile coach depends on the organizational level that she or he will, will be working and the maturity, the organization maturity in about agile and lean. Thank you so much. So you just mentioned a lot of benefits depending on the agile coach, because as you mentioned, we have three different types. But why should you hire an agile coach? In my opinion, transforming an organization with it, which people uh, will need to adopt new ways of working and thinking is not an easy task. And uh, an agile coach, besides having already had similar experience, uh, will be a person who will be outside of the operational stuff not being consumed by the delivery tasks, uh, stimulating lean system thinking in all levels of the organization, bringing appropriate cadences to the ceremonies and things that are necessary to optimize the flow in delivery value, uh, value earlier and early, adding value to the business. In my opinion, uh, this is the, the reason that you should uh, hire an agile coach. And I love what you just mentioned when you're saying that uh, the agile coach is not actually part of the day to day, because at the end of the day, they're creating a high performing culture that, fo uh, that fosters the mental well being and sense of belonging through the company. You know, the training people, uh, changing their mindset to an agile mindset, uh, the behavior, so everyone can actually reach their full potential. And also, I wanted to ask you, what makes a good agile coach? Well, it's it's not an easy question, but uh, uh, I believe that a good agile coach needs to have strong communication and interpersonal skills. Since he or she will be working closely with the employees across the entire company, including the leadership staff, uh, we will need to know how to surf on the corporate culture to help the organization achieve its goals. Uh, actively listening, empathy, resilience, and good networking are some of an agile code key competences, in my opinion. I completely agree with you. Um, so what are the differences between an agile coach and a scrum master? Uh, as I, I commented earlier, uh, an agile coach can act in three levels of the organization. And when we talk about a scrum master, is the person who will work at the team level and uh, is an expert in the scrum framework. I think that the, this is the big difference from agile coach and scrum master. So like the scrum master works, like you mentioned, at a team level, but then the an agile coach actually works with all teams exactly. and executives and other teams groups. Do I need to be an expert in scrum to start my journey as an agile coach? Uh, before we even consider taking a certification, for example, uh, understand the real purpose, why you are pursuing this role and what opportunities you intend to take. Plan your journey. Uh, this can help you choose from the huge range of training offerings that the market provides. And have a mentor 
to support you during this process makes a big difference. In any case, uh, my tip is that uh, knowing lean deeper and understanding what agile principles really mean in your daily work are essential. Learn about lean, learn about how to apply the principles of the agile, the, the agile manifesto. Thank you so much. So, and then my last question is based on your experience, what's the number one advice you will give our community of life? Um, you will give our community of lifelong learners who want to become an agile coach. Be curious. Curiosity is the competence that moves uh, people uh, to, the, to improve their skill, knowledge. So be curious. And as I said, uh, the first thing is be aware of your skills and uh, what is your purpose in this profession. Because we have a lot of tools, a lot of practices, approach. So uh, be aware, be aware uh, what matters for you. Then start your journey. Thank you so much, Carla, for sharing your experience with our lifelong learners. Where can we learn more about you? Well, in the social medias, I have uh, LinkedIn. I, I usually respond to any contact from LinkedIn. Uh, I have my own site that is www.carlakrieger.com.br and um, Instagram, any social media. I, I, it would be a pleasure heard about you and if I can uh, share and we can co-create something about uh, Agile, it will be a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carla, so much and have a great day. In case you missed it, we just launched an episode on adopting Agile culture. Click on the link above to watch it. Thank you so much and see you on our next Coffee Talk. Bye bye. We thank those who choose to be here and we hope this space has been an inspiration to promote the professional growth of our community. If you want to know more about our certifications, visit us at certiprof.com. You can also follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as Certiprof. Let us know in the comments below what other topics you would like us to discuss. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to know about our upcoming episodes. See you in the next episode.